for the heart. Well, kind of. <laughs> Warcraft, the movie based on one of the most beloved video game franchises ever, is finally here. It's directed by Duncan Jones, who did the amazing moon and the OK source code. After a very short prologue that shows a human fighting an orc, we dive right into the madness and epic brilliance that is the giant lore of Warcraft. We see Toby Cabell as the chieftain in Duraton and his pregnant wife. We see dozens of other orcs, all led by the mysterious Gul'dan, an orcish warlock. And holy shit, the design is amazing. It really looks like the games with all their dark, epic, cartoonish flavors have come to life. We witness the orcs travel through the dark portal to seek a new world for themselves. And I was really intrigued and also fanboying about one of my favorite gaming worlds of all time. The big Warcraft logo appears on screen, the music is epic and I was ready. But unfortunately, Warcraft is not a movie that will change the reception of video game adaptations. Not at all. It shows so much potential, expresses so much love for its material and the sheer willingness to go full fantasy is brave and awesome, but in the end, it's not a great movie and I think it's not even a good one. Actually, it's quite a mess, but at least one that's mostly gorgeous to look at and listen to. Designs, costumes, voice acting of the orcs, just the way you like it from the games. Especially Gul'dan was such a monstrous badass. The cinematography and the 3D are great as well, even though there are many really obvious green screen shots too. But after that short introduction we continue with the humans because Warcraft tells the story of the first war between the newly formed Horde and the humans living in Azeroth with Stormwind as their capital. And now everything starts to feel really off and just bland. Beginning with the cast that's simply not that convincing. Travis Fimmel can shine as our main human protagonist Lothar. Dominic Cooper has not the gravitas he should have as the king and Ben Schnetzer was completely miscast as the mage protege Khadgar. They seek the magic guardian Medivh, played by Ben Foster, and I'm not completely sure why, but I think it's because of that cast, the missing chemistry and the all-out high fantasy that unfortunately I was painfully remembered of the atrocious Dungeons and Dragons adaptation. Shortly after, Paula Patton's character Garona gets introduced and that's the one single design choice that I absolutely loathe. She's supposed to be half orc because she has Draenei blood too, even though Draenei's are only seen a few seconds at the beginning and not really explained. Garona looks bad, especially the tiny little thing sticking out of her mouth. The performances from almost all the human characters are really strange too. As for Travis Fimmel and Ben Foster, there were times when I thought they are just drunk. There's a moment where we see Ben Foster crawling on the ground as he was too hammered to stand. Don't get me wrong, I love Ben Foster, but this was just unintentionally funny and I think a big reason for that is the strange editing at times and also the lack of real character introductions. The movie is just about two hours, credits included, and it's more of an ensemble film than a simple hero story. I think it would have benefited from 20 to 30 more minutes immensely, especially for the emotional connection. For example, Lothar has a son that we learn of only incidentally and a brief while later we are supposed to be invested in his story and we really are not. The only story aspect I was invested in is the one with Duratan and as strange as it sounds, that orc could express more with his motion captured face as the rest of the human cast. None of the humans have any chemistry, but at least Duratan and his friend Orgrim really did. The story itself is suffering as well. They tried to stay close to the source material, even though there are some big changes, but I think overall they haven't done a good job adapting it for the big screen. You can change things and still stay true to the material. Lord of the Rings did it and Marvel movies do it all the time. I think the movie would have been a lot better if you would have focused more on the relationship and rivalry of Durotan and Lothar. Like the poster suggests. But they actually almost never really interact in the whole movie. 
Warcraft seems to be not so sure about whose story it wants to tell and if you ask me, in the end this movie wasn't the story of Duratan, it wasn't the story of Lotha, not that of Garona or Medivh or the king or that young mage. Instead it was about all those people without being very good at it. It also always feels like the most expensive fan film ever made with people who are not familiar with the lore getting lost pretty quickly I think. We jump from Ironforge, which is only shown for one single scene, to Stormwind, Goldshire and even Dalaran without getting a sense about the distances or what all those places mean to this world. Again, maybe 20 to 30 minutes would have helped a lot. Also, the action itself is not that well staged and especially big kills and death come across as quite underwhelming when normally Warcraft is also about that exaggerated epicness. I mean sure all those orcs are looking awesome, but the editing is weak, the characters, apart from Duraton and folks, not convincing and the story not that interesting. It's all about that corrupting fell, but there's no burning legion, no scourge or other big villains. Given it would have been a little bit too much to add them as well, but I think it would have been better to change the way the story unfolds altogether. But maybe we will get a sequel of this movie successful and as strange as it sounds, after my little rant here, I would go see it the first day, because at the end of the day, I like this world so much and I'm such a sucker for that stupid epicness and all those deep bass voices that I can enjoy myself, even though I also shake my head baffled about all those missed opportunities. Alright, that's it. Like always, please tell me in the comments below what you think about Warcraft and also please tell me if you're a fan of the franchise or not and what do you think about this movie. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like.